Hello, this is Berhane Selassie, the Orthodox Catholic One here on YouTube of Golden Soul Apologetics, and today's video will be about the Akkadian Schism and the Papal Primacy in the Early Church. Now, first I have to say that the following is 100% none of my own work. I didn't do any of this. It's simply a copy and paste, a reproduction of an article made by John Corrafi on his now defunct site, Ancient Papacy, and I have a link there. You can go to the archive.com's uh, uh, I don't know what he called backup of it. But anyway, here's uh, what his article says. The Akkadian Schism, which occurred from the year 8484 to 519 when it was officially ended by, uh, by an agreement. And the formula of Pope Hormozidas. Anyway, in the late 15th century, Emperor Zenu with the complicity of the Bishop of Constantinople, Acacius, from 471 to 489, tried to impose on the Byzantine East an ambiguous formula called the Hentoticon, or the Decree of Union. After Acacius quickly signed the Hentoticon after it was promulgated in 482, and so did the notorious heretic Peter Mongus, who was installed as the imperially sponsored arch Archbishop of Alexandria, Acacius tried to justify himself by claiming that he was merely following imperial orders on, in the matter. Before long, after, before long, a new pope, St. Felix III, who reigned from 483 to 492, was elected at Rome, and he sent legates to Constantinople to try to persuade the emperor to remove the her heretic Mongus from Alexandria. The Pope also wanted Acacius, whose behavior was becoming in increasingly suspicious, to appear before a Roman council. The Pope also had received reports from several bishops of the East to say nothing of the monks and other faithful, complaining about the actions of Acacius. When, when the papal legates reached Constantinople, they were thrown into prison and browbeaten into recognizing the heretic mongoose. The Pope reacted in July 484 by holding a council at Rome, which solemnly excommunicated Acacius. The Emperor hardened his attitude and tried to coerce the bishops of the East to sign the Hentoticon, and during this period Acacius died in 49, anathematized by Rome as his successor, successor Fravitas, 489 through 490, not very long, made attempt, attempts to contact both the Pope and Peter Mongus of Alexandria. Fravitas died in 490 and his successor at, as Bishop of Constantinople, Euphemius, 490 through 496, took some objectively positive steps. Euphemius accepted the Council of Chalcedon renewed the, commem the commemoration of the Pope in the liturgy, and, and broke communion with the heretic Peter Mongus. However, Rome was one, had one more requirement before the schism could be healed. At Constant Constantinople, the names of Acacius and Fravitus, who had died in schism, needed to be removed from the diptychs, or the liturgical commemoration. Because Euphremius was unwilling to take this final step, the, sh the schism continued. A similar situation existed in the, new pa the next patriarch of Constantinople, Macedonius II. From 496 to 511, Macedonius accepted the Council of Chalcedon and attempted to send synodical letters to Rome and attempt to reestablish communion, but the emperor Anastasius, 491 to 518, intervened, sabotaging even the attempt to be reconciled with Rome. Meanwhile, a new pope, St. Symmachius, 498-514, received an appeal entitled The Eastern Church to Symmachius, Bishop of Rome. The appeal describes in long and heartbreaking terms the persecution from which the East was suffering and asks Symmachius to use his power of binding and loosing to mitigate the suffering in the East. You can find reference in Mansif 8. 221. Under the successor of Symmachius, Pope Hormisdas, 519-520, the emperor began sending out feelers about an ecumenical council in Hieraclea. 
in in thrice thrice <clears throat> while nothing came out of the council the pope did compose a solemn profession of faith known as the formula of pope hormosidas when a new emperor justin was proclaimed at constantinople crowds of the faithful literally demanded the restoration of orthodoxy the faith of chalcedon and also the restoration of union with the rome pope Hosmordius sent legates into the east with the formula of faith eastern bishops and clergy were to be reconciled with rome by sending the formula the schism finally ended in 519 when patriarch john ii 518 through 520 the cappadocians signed rome's formula along with a great number of bishops priests and arch archie and this is what it reads it's pretty long but anyway the first salvation is to keep the rule of the true faith, and to deviate in no way from the tradition of the fathers, and because the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ cannot be set aside, which says, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, these things which have been said are proven by the course of events, for in the apostolic see the Catholic religion has always been preserved unblemished. There's an ellipse. Not wanting to fall away from this faith and following the constitutions of the fathers in every respect, we anathematize all heretics, all heresies, that is, especially the heretic Nestorius, formerly bishop of the city of Constantinople, who was condemned at the Council of Ephesus by Celestine, the Pope of the city of Rome, and by the Holy Cyril, bishop of Alexandria. Along with him, we anathematize Utrechtes and Dioscorus, of Alexandria who were condemned in the Holy Council of Chalcedon which we follow and embrace we anathematize with them Timothy the Parasid the cat who surnamed Elurus and his disciple and follower in all things Peter Mongus of Alexandria in like manner we condemn and anathematize Acasius who once was bishop of the city of Constantinople, their accomplice and follower, and those who pers persevered in the, their communion. For anyone who embraces the communion of, an, of individuals receives a similar judgment at their condemnation. We also condemn Peter of Antioch, the fuller, along with his followers. And there's an ellipse. Wherefore, as we have already said, following in the matters of the apostolic see and preaching all its constitutions, I hope that I may merit to be in one communion with you, which is the apostolic see proclaims, in which is the in integrity and true solidarity of the Christian religion. I also promise that during the celebration of sacred mysteries i will not recite the names of those who were separated from communion of the catholic church that is who does not agree in every every respect with the apostolic see this profession i have signed with my own hand and offer it to you hormosidas holy and venerable pope of the city of rome and you can find the reference right there the formula of Pope Horsimodius is found in a collection of papal documents known as Collectio Avel Avelan, compiled about 550. We do not know exactly how many bishops signed this formula, but a deacon of Rome, Rusticus, writing about 550, said under the Emperor, said that under Emperor Justin there were about perhaps 2,500 priests who signed the Libelli the formula of faith after the schism of peter mongus of alexandria and acasius you could find this reference in patriologica latina 67 and 1251 through 2. evidently not all clerics who signed the formula were bishops so Resticus does not say how many of them were bishops and how many were from the lower clergy Anyway, uh, John Kolarafi wrote this in 2003. I try to email him about the copywriter. It's all right if I do this, and he never responded. And everything in here is his own translation, so it's not me, Berhane Selassie, uh, saying any of this. But anyway, for my own comments, I just want to point out is that they had to agree with the Apostolic See, and they were referring to the Pope 
of the city of Rome. That's who the Apostolic See is in this case. And so they had to agree with everything he taught. They couldn't uh, agree with anyone, embrace anyone that ever taught contrary to what the, the Pope taught. And of course, they're quoting Matthew 16, 18 as one of their proof texts on why, um, in, in respects to the apostolic see, the Catholic religion has always been preserved unblemished. That was one of their proof texts, uh, which they use and which we still use to this day. But a lot of people in the East uh, that are in schism still have issues with. But regardless, this was about the Patriarch of Constantinople and a couple of them actually being in schism and being on the wrong side of orthodoxy, whereas today uh, they're now on our side, at least in this matter, though not necessarily in communion with us, the Catholics. Uh, but anyway, this is Burhane Selassie, the Orthodox Catholic one here on YouTube.